Welcome to Beat Buddy Quick Tips. Today it's setting and saving the settings of your outboard switch. With your SD card in and the project up and running, push in the two dials together and that will put you into the menu. Scroll down to foot switch and the first thing to do is set the foot switch detector which will detect left and right buttons. And it will also tell you that your foot switch is latching, which is what you need. Scroll back to the menu and you can set the which function each button will perform during the different modes playing or stopped. For the first button in the stopped mode, I like to choose Song Advance, which allows you to scroll forward in your project. And for the playing mode, I choose Pause and Unpause, which allows you to stop the song while it is playing. For the second button, same thing, scroll back to the menu, choose the second button, and for the stopped mode, I like to choose Song Back, which allows you to scroll backwards through the songs in your project. And for song playing, I usually choose Outro Fill, which allows you to jump directly to the end of your song. Otherwise, you have to press the Beat Buddy main pedal twice in order to jump to the outro. So I find it a little more convenient just to tap the one button. However, you can choose whichever setting suits your fancy. Once that is set, it is saved in the project. And if you're interested in looking at another method of doing this, please stay tuned for the rest of the video. And we're also going to address a little quirk with the software, which might save you a little aggravation. So stay tuned for that in the next part. Well, if you are still here, that means that the quick tip was not enough for you and you have a thirst for knowledge. And uh, that's a good thing because there is another way to save your pedal settings and we're going to get into that. And then we're also going to address a little quirk that hopefully will be a time and annoyance saver for you. Okay, well, let's get into it. Here is our SD card and our project. And if you look in the parameters folder, you will see a document called foot switch. And if we open it up, we will see the settings that we have just inputted into the pedal itself. So that's where they are stored. Now we're going to address the little quirk that um, you may have noticed. If we use the online version of the Beat Buddy Manager software, and we sync the project to the SD card yet again, same project. You will see firstly that the online version exports projects to X SD cards much more quickly than the online version. So that's a nice upgrade. You will also notice that it has done nothing to the parameters folder. So it keeps and saves the parameters that were there in the project that we set in the pedal, which is good. Here is the problem. If you use the computer-based version of the software, let's see what happens. So we're going to export the project from here, same project, to the SD card. The first thing you will notice is it takes a lot longer. So we're going to wait a minute. So here is our SD card where we have just saved that same project. And if we go to the parameters folder, you can see it has reset it to default, which is not good because that means we've lost our pedal sa settings that we wanted to save. So now if we take this SD card and put it into the Beat Buddy pedal, we'll have to reset the pedal settings. There is another way to do it. If you have another project where the uh, settings that you like are saved, you can actually just copy and paste these uh, folders or files into the folder. Oops, sorry, right there, wrong one. Okay, and then that will save our panel settings as we like them. And if we go and open this document, we will see it has the settings that as we set them in the first place. So the bottom line is uh, there are two ways to save your pedal settings. One is through the parameters folder and you save that foot switch document. 
And if you keep it aside on your computer, you can actually just copy and paste it each time you export the project. Another choice is to use the online version of the software, which will keep your settings as you have them in the project until you change them in the pedal, which is probably a better choice because it saves you that extra step. So there you go. I hope that quick tip uh, helped uh, smooth things out for you and you picked up a few little tips and tricks and um, you should subscribe because there will be more quick tips coming down the pipe. And if you do have any questions or want any tasks addressed, put them in the comments and um, if I know how to do them, I will let you know. Thank you for joining. We'll see you again next time. Take care.